This is the bus that was used in the Robin Williams movie. Got the world's oldest Airstream, a 1935 model. Look, it says the curtains. The curtains and the bedspread are original in here. 70s and all their glory. We are Jason, Julie, Emma, and Hudson. We decided we were ready for a new adventure, so we sold our house and we are traveling in an RV full time. We are excited to see what God has in store for us. Follow along as we hit the road in the slow lane. Get out there and make more of every moment. Hey guys. We are at the Jack Sizemore RV Museum in Amarillo, and I don't know about you, but if you love RV tours as much as we do, we are super excited to go in here. I think there's supposed yeah. to be some really old RVs. The oldest Airstream and the very first Itasca motorhome. So cool. So we're going to take you along with us today and hopefully show you some really cool and unique RVs. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that one. Yeah. That's cool. What in the world? Look at the windows. Like submarine. It does look like a submarine. That thing's weird. A big can. I like this little black and white one. Isn't that cute? It's like the high low. When I was a kid, we had pop ups and then we had high lows. This is a different brand, like a high low. It drops down. My dad like didn't like to haul anything tall. So I guess in this one, that was your sleeping right there? Yeah, fold it down, make fold a bed. Fold it down and no. make a bed. And that's your other bed. That was oh, and this makes a bed back here. Yeah, okay. That's a better bed. Would y'all stay in this one? Uh. Look at the ceiling. See something missing. No air conditioning. Oh, no, I would not stay in this one. <laughs> not in Texas anyway, right? Hey, what's that? The Alma 1936. This trailer was a barn find 20 miles from Alma factory. It is all original, never restored, and looks like new. We get the flooring in it. Oh my gosh, look. That's actually pretty big in here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Got a mirror. A yeah, a lot of the new RVs, you don't get a mirror. <laughs> this one just has a bed in it. An old air conditioner. You would put ice or cold water in it, and the air would blow through and push it into your car. <laughs> There's your bunk bed. Oh bunk beds in it? Yep. <laughs> the bottom one looks pretty comfortable. <laughs> Emma's favorite, Airstream. She's in there checking it out. <laughs> 1955 Airstream. The stove, refrigerator, and bathroom have never been used. And the curtains and the bedspread are original. Oh wow, well, look, it says the curtains. The curtains and the bedspread are original in here. I like the little stove. It's like full on house. Little apartment stove. Old school viewfinder. And it says that the bedspread is original. Oh, that's weird. Isn't that cool? This is a roomy bedroom back here. Yeah. Parks. Mm hmm. That'd be a fun game. Oh, that's cool. It's a national park hat instead of the top yeah. hat. This is about what ours looked like inside. But we didn't have two floor. boots. It's weird to have two boots. Look at the floor. Yeah, it's 70s roofing. Oh, <laughs> green. 70s. It's like lemon and lemons and limes. 
This is cool. You know what I would like to have? Oh, we had laps like that. <laughs> Just like that. Hmm. That's weird. Tell them a little bit about your experiences in the summer. That's the door. Yeah, that's the door. This folds down. Oh, that's awesome. And it's the door, the top half of the door. And this is the bottom half of the door. So you keep oh, the top. when we were a kid, we traveled all summer long. My dad was a traveling salesman, so we would leave right when school was out, come back into town right when school was coming back in. The very first camper I remember having, we had Apaches. The very first one was canvas like this. And we kept that maybe a year, I don't remember. And then we bought fiberglass sided Apaches that had the fiberglass sides, still pop-ups, but they would be like this. We had a bed on the end, a bed on the other end, and we'd have a dinette. And we had a couple different ones. So one I think only had a dinette, and the other had a dinette with like a little bench on this side, and they would fold down and your doors were two pieces, and we had no air conditioner, and we would travel everywhere. All summer. All summer. It was very hot sometimes, most of the time. So he knows all about the RV life, and not the comfortable kind. Yeah. 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 He was not a glamping. Not the glamping style. Yeah, we were not glamping. <laughs> Here's your uh, old school vlogging kits. You've got your cameras. You got your GoPro, you got your, your better model camera. <laughs> you think we could be vloggers back then? Uh, it'd be much more difficult. Actually, yeah. Oh, there's some flash cubes. You better know when you want to use them because they were one time only. <laughs> take your camera, take your picture, bam, flash broken. In Monk. In one oh, of the, goodness, more in Monk. One of the episodes, he, he was not a techie person. So he had, he didn't have anything, he didn't have a computer, he didn't have anything. He was um, trying to do something and he bought, so he needed a camera, so he bought like a really, really, really old one from like that. And then um, he had to use the little, he had little flash cube thingies that he had to put on it. Because it, where it was from, like the 70s, 60s probably, 60s, 50s, 60s, I don't know. But that was in 2007 when we did that one. So, <laughs> he was using the old-fashioned flash yes. cubes. It's funny. Y'all, this is the world's oldest Airstream. 1935 torpedo. 81 years. Emma, what do you think about this one? Do you like it better than a new normal Airstream? Emma doesn't like Airstream. I don't like Airstream. Sorry, Airstream fans. She's not a fan. I think they're hideous. Think well, this one doesn't look like the I, I know, but it's even more hideous. It's even more hideous. It does look like the new it's, ones with the black wraparound window. You know you're going to get hateful comments from all the Airstream owners. I don't care. She crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we like Airstream. It's pretty cool. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That's weird. That's cool. Does it have a couch? I like it. It has an old broom. It's cool. <laughs> the old broom. What is this? It's like a little dog house awesome. with the water and the food bowl. Instead of the propane house. tanks. Instead of propane tanks. That is awesome. Yeah. It'd, it'd, That's adorable. It'd be awesome if you had a real dog house like that mm -hmm. on your own and you could pull it behind your camper. Behind your camper. Keep your pets out there. No. <laughs> yeah, they'd be a little scared, wouldn't they? <laughs> and a big couch. It literally has a sign right there that says, Well, I'd say more head. than one person would get the I'll probably still get mine even. Look, this, awesome. has, this has two big couches. Right there is cool. It has a Look at the shower in the bathroom. That's weird. It has a window in the bathroom. Yeah. I want that root beer. Yes, I want this root beer barrel. I love this one. Look at the back of it. Yeah. It's very classy. Look at the little swirl of these chairs. Right on the down. Oh, those are cool. That's awesome. Whoa. That's the bike I want. 
I like these windows back here. I like the colors so this one is blue. Oh, look at the blue stones. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Uh -huh. bedroom back here. The cot goes down. This one's awesome. And there's the heater. <laughs> it's got a cot on both sides. Oh, you sleep four back here. Wow, that's big. You'd have to sleep all in here bunk this, style. This was a big family. Yeah. Family this is a uh, an FMC, which were really fancy for their time. A double sided couch. Oh, been updated with a modern radio once upon a time. Oh, got a blender built into the sink top. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, got some dial soap. Slider. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is yeah, it's got the buddy seat too, where you could have two yeah, front look people. How this is made. It's yeah, like one piece. double sided, made to be comfortable. I saw that. That's pretty neat. Oh, like a big old fluffy 70s couch. Julie and the kids don't really like them, but to me, a 70s model Winnebago Brave is the quintessential motorhome. It's what they should look like. That's that front end. Look at that. That's style. Style. No, it is not. That is style. This one has a buddy seat <laughs> where you can have two up front passengers. That's cool. Uh, which I had never seen. But we've not really been in a lot of old motor homes. Yeah. But one of the others here has it also. This one has it. Also has an overhead bunk. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's cool. Which was uh, ahead of its time. Had a place for somebody to sleep there. Oh, Dometic still around. Another sleeping area in the back. Your lounge area in the back. A few years ago, one of the hot rod companies, uh, the Ring Brothers, redid one of these with a big, huge motor. Uh, did away with the RV portion of it and kind of made it into like a party wagon, but uh, big motor in it and retro on the outside. It was cool. Cool that old tricycles. Be, that would be hot. Have a sit on it there, Hudson. Sit on? Yeah, yeah, that thing's tough. Tougher than you are. You won't hurt it. That thing was built when things were built to last instead of built to throw away after okay, a couple well, years. What are these things back here for? Yeah. What's where you pushed from the back okay. or if you had two people somebody could push you and then hop up on there And both of you could roll down the hill together till you crashed. That's how I did it Very first Itasca motorhome 1975 model serial number one Very cool 70s in all their glory Earth tones Heavy woven flower patterns. Oh, somebody's used it relatively recently because that backup camera screen, not 1975. Full bath, shower, tiny tub, I guess, if you really wanted it to be. Very cool. Okay, movie fans, who has watched RV before? This is amazing. This is the bus that was used in the Robin Williams movie. So cool. And those crazy awesome. friends they make. Yeah. So cool. It says that they made a few modifications for the movie. But this is where he was sitting. The crazy family. <laughs> this one's big, isn't it? Yeah.
They've got a uh, 78 model Corvette pace car. Uh, Hudson likes to flip up headlights. This thing looks brand new because it is. Still has the sticker on the window. Still has the plastic on the seats. Accessories in the back. And I don't think I can get it with the camera, but it has 11 miles on the odometer. Here's an old Jeep CJ the kids are digging. Pretty sure it's a CJ5 from the shape of the door, but I'm not that big on the old stuff. Like them, but can't recognize for sure what it is. What do you think about this yellow one, Hudson? It's awesome. I like it. Old Jeeps are cool. So I think what we've noticed today is that they just don't make them the way they used to. You can tell that they were handcrafted, spent a lot of time on them, whereas today they're just getting them in and out of the door so fast. Uh, they sell so many, they have to churn and burn. Yeah. There's so, probably 50 times as many sold now as there was then. Yeah. But a lot of these old ones are cool. They are. They're just made really, really well, you can tell.